Welcome back to the Gnome Show, everyone. I am Joshua, and I am your humble host of the Gnome Show. Uh, it is my duty and really my pleasure to trawl the briny depths of YouTube so that I may bring you the shinies. I cover short films of varying genres, video games, analog horror and sci-fi, and anything else that I think is groovy. I hope you'll enjoy tonight's offering. Content for the Blood God. On with the show. Tonight we have Painted Red, a short film by the Orange by Orange and Black Film Club. Go ahead and give them a sub and a like. And uh, without further ado, let's get on with it. she a regulator um remember in fallout 3 where you could be a regulator or you could be um i guess whatever the uh the opposite of the regulators were in that game i never did the evil play run uh, playthroughs i'm just not uh, just not built for that kind of thing pretty cool looking boots though Please. Ooh. I like how they did the uh, the action scene there. You just roll some dice. Door viewer. This is what we doing. You penny chasing simpleton. You couldn't shoot a father off your own ass. You better plan a bullet in my head. Because as soon as I get out of these ropes. <laughs> It's over for you. Mm. Your scrawny height is the first thing I'm gunning for. I want it for a reason, you know. You better be smart and kill me. Or else I will... <laughs> Start walking. Could be anybody's uh, half burnt cigar. I thought she was gonna, like, you know, like, uh, pick it up and smoke it. I mean, it's still good. Miss he does give off uh, a good young. Uh, uh, Clint Eastwood uh, type um, cowboy. Like it, he does, he does do it justice. I, I could see where he modeled everything. I absolutely. Mr. Matthew, I see you 
brought another friend. Uh, funny little note. When I was a kid, um, I used to like those uh, Western movies before I found Kung Fu and Ninja movies. Uh, and um, my so my dad used to like he had he, I believe I used to have a nickname Poncho might have been my dad but I think it might have been me because I used to wear a poncho like that he had I would wear it all the time I was very into cowboys and stuff I think there's a picture somewhere with me in said garb so I think it was me uh, but it could have been my dad. I don't know. I just, I saw him in a poncho and I was like, poncho. And I was like, yeah, I used to wear one of those. I might've been having, had a nickname. Named poncho. Yeah, whatever. Sorry. Mine thought bubble, just one of those memory bubble things, whatever. Right over here. You can tell it's a prop gun, but it's a nice prop though. That's not nice. You're lucky you're still drawing breath. Sit down. <laughs> Sets are nice though. You're short 50. Right you are. You did bring him in alive. I mean, that's how you get the, the bonus, right? Like, that's how you do it. You bring him in alive. You're not a bloodthirsty fucking like, uh, uh, murder hobo. Yeah, you get the extra bonus stuff. Rifle's gone too. Uh oh. She's a pretty good shot. Uh, uh, yeah. Come on now. Now you gotta reload. Now. You're bleeding. So are you. What's the meaning of the die? You wanna find out? Siri? Uh come on, man. You had me. You could have ended it. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, that's... Why I didn't mean, you pull the trigger? You have me now. Why haven't you pulled the trigger? Well, normally, you'd be dead by now. But, since you put up such a good fight, I figure it's only fair I give you a chance. We have a duel. My rifle against your revolver. If I win, I walk away with about 800. <laughs> if you win, Sheriff will tell you I'm worth about 2,000. I think I'll hold on to this for now. Tomorrow. Midday. At the top of Horseshoe Hill. Don't even think about running off. I rolled a three. That's what a bullet's gonna take for me to kill you. It's only fair I'd give you a chance. Oh, shit. It's fairly interesting. Um, so they're both bounty hunters, obviously. Um, and... <clears throat> Like, I, I had, uh, like, at, at the beginning, I had thought that maybe they're running a scam, like, where, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, they're partners. Uh, but this is pretty interesting, too. Uh, although I think it would probably be in every, in both their interests to be partners. Like, you know, like, uh, keep, you know, like, you know, keep it professional, you know, but, like, you seem like you're pretty decent at bringing fugitives in, uh, alive or dead. Um, make more money. Like, uh, like, gonna be easier to bring, uh, individuals down. But, I don't know, you have to split it, but, again, I, I just, you have more chance of coming home alive if you, you have a partner. You know? Uh, especially if you all are really in it for the money. You know, I don't know. Let's uh, let's uh, see where this goes. I like the continuity uh, that uh, that he's like literally struggling to get up because he's minus an arm right now or a shoulder. Better rinse that shit with fucking uh, with alcohol and fucking um, maybe go into town and get a doc. Foul play. Nice. It was breaking the wind. Then we fire. And I'll be eight hundred dollars richer. 
You have to earn it. <laughs> so, um, um, who do you, who do you think uh, is going to win this one? Um, they're both really good. Um, she seems a bit uh, confident, uh, which is always, you know, it's good to be confident, but you know, sometimes that's the downfall. Um, but he is uh, fairly wounded. Uh, compared to her, uh, scratch on her cheek. Um, I don't, uh, think she's, uh, I think she's got a fair advantage over him. Um, I don't know. I, Um, see, he usually bring, he tries to bring them in, um, doesn't mean he's a bad gunslinger or anything like that, but, um, I mean, like, obviously, um, like, uh, although he was firing rather wildly, I'm gonna go with the girl, um, just because, uh, she's, uh, uh, been fairly steady with her aim. Uh, but um, on the caveat, with the caveat that um, he just might be better when it, uh, you know, in the clutch. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't know. This is hard to call. Well, I, I love the music. Probably gonna have to to change the music. The, uh, the hand-drawn scenes. Oh, from the hip! Holy hell, that was good! you finish it? I rolled a one. Start walking. What about my leg? Use the other one. <laughs> that was good. Hell yeah. Um... Sure. Why not? Oh, that was a little bit scummy. Just a bit scummy. You? I just gave you the money for that that thing. Damn toad. What do you say you worth is she little... worth? Huh? How much is she worth?
What's her name? Linda. Linda McKenzie. Two thousand dollars. <laughs> Told you. If I have to be picky, that's printed paper. <laughs> Two bounties to watch. Oh, this is too much trouble. Looks like I earned it. Hmm. It's the way it goes. Time for you to go and do something better. Here, two thousand dollars. Now get out. <laughs> Wiped them clean. This is a good film. I really liked the hip draw. That was pretty cool. Hell yeah. That was really, really good. Um, when the when the mood strikes me, I, I do like a good western. Um, um, the Quick and the Dead and Unforgiven come to mind. Um, but also everything that uh, Clint Eastwood has ever done. Uh, especially his spaghetti western style uh, stuff. Um, the Man with No Name. Um, Josie Wales, um, all those kinds of good stuff. Um, <clears throat> uh, and, uh, I, and also, um, um, with, uh, the mythology behind it, uh, some of it where there's the, uh, theory that he's the pale man, like, you know, he's death and all that kind of stuff in like some of his movies. I mean, it's just really cool. And there is certain games, uh, that pay homage that, um, uh, Red Dead Redemption one and two. Um, I have read Redem Red Dead Redemption 2. It's just, um, you can tell that it was made for console and, um, like, uh, there are times where, like, I can't, uh, I, I, I like it, uh, but the control scheme and everything is fucking really, really bad. Um, I do have a, uh, a, a um, a, the controller uh and i'll be getting back into um red dead uh at some point um movies like this kind of uh make me want to get back into it because uh i know that it is my my type of gig um but there there are certain things in that game that just don't draw my attention as much as uh like other games of a different flavor would um I really wish they would make a uh, a really high caliber Call of Cthulhu game, um, you know, like Red Dead, but Call of Cthulhu, like absolutely just like knock it out of the park type stuff. Um, you know, I think that would be really, really good. Uh, 